Have you ever wondered how many languages there are in the world? Or how many indigenous languages there are in Colombia? What happens to an indigenous community when their language disappears? Thank you very much for coming. My name is Rosa Angelica Ramirez. I belong to the Canquama Indigenous Nations, one of the four indigenous communities that in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. And I am a student of government and international relations. Today, I would like to share with you some aspects about my project relating the importance of indigenous languages. My talk is divided in four parts. First, indigenous languages as a identity, as a symbol of identity. Second, indigenous language as a tool for traditional knowledge transmission. Third, the case of my community relating to this topic, of course. And finally, a short conclusion. So, when we think about the languages in the world, we immediately think of Spanish, Chinese, or English, right? But these are a small number of the world's languages. 94% of the world's population speak 6% of the language. Ironically, the least spoken languages in the world are indigenous languages. They enrich, they enrich the linguistic diversity and they are at enormous risk of extinction. <coughs> If a language dies, a culture dies. Therefore, it's important to us. Are indigenous languages an important factor of the survival of survival of indigenous peoples? Moving to the first part, a traditional language is the convention of a collective identity. It establishes a connection with our community and that shows that we belong to a common territory. In this way, language becomes a tool for a community to develop a worldview or cosmovision and an interaction with the environment and with the world. When you was a child, I remember hearing a Canquamo say that when the Spaniards came to conquer indigenous territory, one of the strategies was to ban speaking the language because they wanted to destroy our social and cultural cohesion. Currently, there are indigenous leaders who defend the affirmation that an indigenous person without language is not an indigenous person. <clears throat> it can make us understand that for indigenous peoples, identity is linked to language. And it's a determining factor in marking the borders of identity between ethnic groups. On the other hand, language Language was built from historical, from historical. Okay, on the other hand, language not only confirms ethnic identity, but it also becomes a tool to prevent the disappearance of indigenous people. In this, all the traditional knowledge of our ancestors is, for example, mammals, taitas, or hibanas are compressed. 
the language was built from historical from historical situation that indigenous people have lived. Therefore, when speaking it, the most intangible values of culture are being shared. And a common memory of an ethnic group is being known. In the other world, language is a symbolic link with the present, with the past, and with the future of an indigenous community. An example of this can be seen in the term Kung Fan, because if anyone asks about the meaning, it could be said that it's a person that could belong to a to an indigenous Kung Fan people. Yes. But in Takachukwa, the language spoken by Kankwam, the essence is deeper. Kankwamo is divided in three parts. Kun, that means temper or masculine force. Wa, it is mother, her mother. And Mu is flame or fire. This is the importance of language. For many academics, language is an element that reflects the situation of indigenous peoples and territories. Yes. This can make us this can make us understand the border, the border of identity between indigenous people. So I present the case of my community in the the four indigenous people in Javi, the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, Aruacos, Hogis, Huiguas, and Canquamos, have a common history and war cosmovision. We are committed to maintaining the balance of the war. The Sierra is seen as a big table, where each indigenous people is a, a leg. If one leg is missing, the Sierra is unbalanced. Yes. Canquamo people have a particular history. Before colonization, we were alive to the other three indigenous people in the Sierra. We spoke our language, we wore our traditional customs, and we have or mouse, or spiritual leader. However, language Kakachukwa, which belongs to the family of Chipcha languages, has been affected by historical situations such as internal conflict armor, extinction strategies toward the culture, threats, persecution, and forced disappearance. This situation, of, well, according, sorry, according to the census of National Statistics Department, done in Spanish, Canquamo people are approximately 17,000, of whom 1,419 are distributed, distributed in the rest of the country. Bogotá, La Guajira, Magdalena and Atlantico are the departments with the, with the largest number of the Canquam. Nowadays, the Canquamo people have a, an enormous risk of extinction due to the loss of our language, the migratory process, the adoption of city dynamics and acculturation, among other situations, have generated or have permitted our, our cultural dynamics or relation to the land and the use of our language. Okay, mm, sorry.
This situation have generated strong efforts in every on every platform of person. In my case, I have been questioned in different space because I don't speak my language. In convocation of indigenous scholarship, one of our requirements is usually speaking language. And that of course leave us out. Despite despite these situations, despite these situations, Kankuamo has made various efforts to prevent our total disappearance and to vindicate the importance or importance. This Kankuamo dictionary is an example of this because it is aimed to promoting of research of each linguistic element, such as myths, legends, legends, and stories. Yes. This with the objective to produce oral creation and new written text. Okay, to conclude, yes, language is undoubtedly the most decisive factor to prevent the disappearance of indigenous people. It's a central element of our identity and a tool for transmitting traditional knowledge. For this reason, or in this way, we, we as indigenous people, contribute to the construction of society that recognize, respect, and enrich the cultural and linguistic diversity. I would like to highlight <coughs> what the former dean of Faculty of Social Science once said, Lucer Samuri, if the country declares itself constitutionally pluriethnic and multicultural, its institution must all be free. Starting with the academy, with the academy. For these reasons, it's necessary to continue making efforts for strengthening and teaching of indigenous language around the world and Colombia. So to finish, I would like to leave you with this idea. Wouldn't be it wouldn't it be a wonderful idea to have some courses in indigenous language at our university? I think I think this will be a great project. Hasai Hasai, thanks.